Hi everyone, Jan Fursden here um, from Fursden House. It's been about 3,000 forever since I've uh, done a video, or at least that's what it seems. Um, had to do a lot of traveling lately, some unexpected and some that was scheduled beforehand and it's kind of kept me from working and creating anything, but I was able to do some cleaning uh, before I left for this last trip and I got some packets together because I thought, you know, I've got way too much. I don't admit that to just anyone, but uh, I have uh, a lot of ephemera and I thought, you know, let's put some ephemera packs together. And uh, so these are going to be for sale. Um, you can private message me and uh, if you're interested and I'll put that information below on how to reach me. Um, but basically what I've done is I've created three pouches and uh, each pouch has three pockets in it. And I've tied them all, you can see the beautiful ribbons, two are rose colored and one is a beautiful soft mossy green. I put some fabulous um, pins, brooches that I've had for ages and <laughs> I've got a lot of brooches. So I thought, you know, Jan, someone else could be using these for their journals. So what I've done, I started filling them up. Well, first I started pulling everything out. I thought, okay, this and this, and I've got a lot of that and da da. And by the time I finished, I could only get so much into the pouches because, you know. And then what I did, I ended up filling these bags full as well. So each, there are three of these bags. And they are full of goodies too. And on each bag, let me show you the, um, I've got one open here. And on each of the bags, there is a, a little... I don't know what you would call it, but it's from a chandelier. They're glass. And there's also a little, I call them book jewelry. Little bits and pieces. And then I've also put together some long, yummy um, fibers that I've had and have too many of. And I, it's a little over a foot, I believe. Or is it about 18 inches? Yeah, it's probably about 12, 12, 14 inches, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, you can see how long they are. Each bag has that, and the two little things, those are on the outside. And then in just a minute, once I show you one of these, I'm going to show you what's on the inside of the bags as well. So they're almost identical. Um, I had a lot of duplicates. Some of them are slightly different. For instance, um, I made these little these little things here, and so they're each different, but it's all the same thing. It's a hidden paper clip, and I've just used little bits and pieces. So I'm just going to do a video of one of them. I thought it's just too much otherwise, and it'd be boring. So I'm going to put these aside. Now let's do the green one. I love green. Green and pinks are my favorite colors. And then we'll do, um, like I said, the bag. So let's get started. I'm just going to show you everything that's in here. It's all right. Come on, behave. There we go. All right. And I've just literally I've kept the little pin back on. Isn't it beautiful? I love that one. But, as I said, I've gotten too many of them, and I'm just not doing anyone any favors by just letting it sit. Now, I've used this yummy grow grain ribbon, and I've put quite a bit around it. Let's see, it's about a yard, about a yard and a half. And I thought, this way, you can use it for yourself if you'd like. And one of your own projects. Let me get this all wrapped up here. Otherwise, it's kind of taking over. So let's get into here. So like I said, I've created uh, and I've also um, tea stained these pouches that I've made. I used a manila folder and I filled them up. Couldn't get any more into them. So let's see, what is easier? Let's try the back pocket first. Now in the packets are mostly the paper ephemera um, and in the other, in the bags are others bits and pieces. So, 
I've done a lot of uh, embossing and I thought you know a lot of people don't have embossing machines so okay I'll share that so all of this comes in the packet not sure if you can see the design it's flowers draped here it's kind of hard to see this has been embossed it's a um, cardstock several pages of tea dyed paper I purchased this and I have way too many so was it one two three pages of with that beautiful lace design on there and again this is all in each packet I have several pages of ledger paper that's been written on this is let's see turn it up this way there's this one this one's from 1905 October 3rd and October 6th 7th 14th 1905 um, so again this is just some fun ephemera February of 1908 looks like so each packet has several pages of that this is a die cut uh, I have the die cut myself and I use it and I it's it's just really pretty it's it's a pocket and you just fold these sides down and you've got a really pretty pocket so I've got that because not everyone has die cut machines and what have you I have some graph paper that's been stained tea stained three sheets of that some book page cards I got these from a friend of mine um, and I I have too many of them but there are two thicknesses and they make great pockets so you can embellish them you can make the little hidden paper clips all kinds of cool stuff but they are from old uh, books some of them are probably well they're all vintage and um, they're just really neat to have okay this is my first attempt let me put it under something that you can kind of see it yeah here we go this is um a napkin that i treated to turn it into well, i think it's called faux rice paper or whatever anyway you do it with beeswax and i just love it and so there the uh I thought that was such a cool napkin. I still have several of them, but it's an actual scene. This is some paper. Now, this is the strange stuff, but it's really cool to work with. On the back, it almost looks like a canvas. On the front, you can see in here, it kind of looks like cork. It's very thin, and it's got the gold in there as well. And it just makes great pockets, great all kinds of stuff. And of all places, I got that from Walmart. About Two years ago and of course I had to get um, a set amount and of course didn't use it all here's another one of those napkins let me do it here there we go isn't that beautiful those make great pockets or you can put them like a flap over a page and just have it you know just attach it up here and then you can raise it up and then you have writing space but I just love the the scenes on these okay what else we have this is some wallpaper and more wallpaper this is handmade paper that I purchased from a friend of mine Karen um, it's yummy it's not this is nice and thick great for pockets all kinds of stuff and here's another handmade paper pieces of it you can see this is Japanese I believe and it's just amazing and you can actually write on that actually here's another embossed uh, can you see the sunflower on there hopefully you can there's a bag in here tea stain another bag an original page from uh, a book a vintage book okay so that is the first <laughs> now let's get all this out of the way and we'll go on to the next pocket okay 
think that's, yep, that's it. Okay, so here we go with the next pocket. An original page from a booklet of mine. This is the first day of issue stamp, 1982, April 14th. Neat little envelope there. I have been using a lot of ink, so I apologize for my fingernails. I was making ink stuff, checking to see what was working and what wasn't. This is just a pocket using uh, vintage books, book pages. And of course, you can decorate that and do whatever. This is vintage German, um, uh, a piece of song music. Song music? That didn't make sense. Sheet music. That's it. Sheet music. Um, it's stuck together, and I leave it there because I want that double thickness. Uh, the book had some damage to it, and so I've just always left mine together. And it makes a great, you can use pockets or whatever. Here's some more handmade paper. Oh, the colors on this are glorious. Look at that. Again, that's from my friend Karen. All handmade paper. Beautiful stuff. There we go. And more handmade paper. And two gray CD sleeves. And here's another page of that um, German sheet music. Again, they're stuck together. But again, that's what I just leave it like that simply because it's thicker, and that way I can line it not to tear and all of that kind of stuff. So that's the second. Now we'll go to the third. And some of these things I purchased from some of my friends, and just again, I've had too much. Here we have a frame, it's adhesive on the back. At least I believe it's adhesive. Yeah, it is adhesive. Isn't that cool? They're really neat. A little small. These are hard cardstock. And they're just little pieces of art. And they're really neat. I have some Martha Stewart doilies that I tea dyed. And I have some other slightly larger ones that I tea dyed. And these are postcards of the some of the flower fairies. These are all new. Well, they're not new. I've had them for several years. But um, they're all unused, I should say. So you have three of those. Okay. And then we have, you can see the pouch now. All right, come on. This is just a little fold-over piece of ephemera. I just like the, the the pattern. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got a little bit of glitter on the leaves and the flowers. Perfect for fitting over a page. And these are hidden paper clips. I love hidden paper clips. That's sweet. And another hidden paper clip. Little angels there. Those were fun to make. And there is the packet itself. Again, you can use it for whatever. Nice way to um, to organize things, that kind of stuff. So now I'm going to go show you the, the bag. So as I said, each bag has one of these um, bead dangles of glass. They're from a chandelier. And then each one has one of these. And they're tied on the outside with the, the different fibers that I've got. Now let's go in here. Okay, I've tried to keep some of this together so it makes sense. <laughs> yes. Okay, so lots and lots of bits and pieces here. Let me show you the obvious ones first. These are monocles. There's a silver one and a gold one in each one, in each bag. They're actual monocles. What these are good for is to 
um, adhere an image on the front and the reverse if you want. They And just hang them uh, on the book that you have, like on a journal front or something like that. They're really cool. Here's an assortment of buttons. All kinds. <laughs> There's a ladybug in there and a little Scotty dog. But just different colors. We have a stamp. A wooden stamp. There's a vintage, vintage or antique. This one might be antique. It's a spool, an antique spool or a vintage spool. I'm not sure which one, but it's wooden. And I put um, at, at least a foot of this green ribbon. This is some of my favorite ribbon. I use it all over the place. It's great for um, using with flowers or whatever you want to do or trimming a page. Here are miniature magnets. I think it's about 10. And again, I apologize for my nails. Yuck. Ink does not come off very easily. Here I have three tags that I've made. Or not tags, seals. Oops, what's that? Now on the reverse, some of them... Yeah, you can see this is, these are for gluing down onto something. So, the backs aren't necessarily always pretty because of the way I do them. But there's a tree, a crown, and another tree. Okay. Let me put these back in there, otherwise I'll get them all confused. Here we have, let me just get this. Just a little assortment of metallic things. These are great when, if you want to use them, like you put on a, say you have an envelope in a journal, and you want to make it look just a little bit nicer. And what you can do is adhere this side to the this part, and then you've got a little thing that you can flip in there. Works better once you've actually done it, but that's another, or you can just use it strictly decor, decorative. I'll give you some ideas there. So it's two of those paper clips that I've curled the ends of. Some brass paper clips. These, these are really cool. They're pins, but you notice there's no end on it, so you can put literally little beads on these and hook them again onto um, lace, a bit of lace or the end of a, a book page or whatever. I'd never seen them like that. And of course, if you order, you have to get, you can get 10 for $5. I mean, I'm just using an example. Or you can get 100 for $6. So of course you get the 100 and then you have too many. But they're really neat. This uh, little brads, or not brads, what do you call these, eyelets. Different brads here. Different colors. We have, oh, it's probably 10. Yeah, 10 of these little black bulb pins. And these cute little keys. I love these. I use some of these in my dollhouse, actually. The itty bitty one. Okay, so that's all in that one. Let's see if I can keep all this semi-separated. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's some um, beautiful ribbon that I purchased. Let's see, just over a foot. Very pretty. That one's just over a foot too. Isn't it gorgeous? Again, that's one you you have to order so much to get the best price. And it's like, well... But I think, well, I'd rather do that and then give them away or sell them or do whatever or, you know, make stuff with them and give away. So, that's what I do. Here we have red, white, and blue uh, little bows. Unfortunately, I only had one blue. I had three blue. And so, anyway. But they are sweet. A little faux pearl in the center. 
Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Here's another thing of metal pieces. So we have, I think these are called bull, bull clamps, bull, I'm not sure, sort of a silvery, antique silver, antique bronze, and then a little, all these little things here, little screws, that's just a metal piece. I would take, I've done this before, I put um, a little gem, you know, like a little jewel piece right in there in the center, or a a pearl or something like that. Here we have, now these make great, yeah, silver, gold, and black, yeah, black I think it is. Now you can use it as to hang off of something, but what I've done, I clip that piece off and it makes a great little picture frame for a small picture and just adhere it to your page, your journal page. Those are all metal. And then we have these little screws are what go to these um, things here. There's this one. Name plates. So the little screws go right in here. And that's sort of a... I'm not sure what color you call that. Bronze, maybe? And then these two. Some of my favorites. So that's all that. <laughs> it kind of goes and goes and goes. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is some of my favorite ribbon again. Now, this is just, um, there's probably two yards, maybe. Probably two yards, maybe even more. Of seam binding, it's just the palest, palest blue. And it crinkles up really nice. And this is my some of my favorite trim. And I bought it when they had it, which meant that I kind of overdid it. Um, but it's rosettes. And I use these for everything. I put them on pockets. They're a little squished there. Just need to glue it down. And I just, you know, cut them up. That's about a foot, just over a foot. I just love that. And with that color, it goes with everything see what do we have in this one so these are frames again you could just glue that down now that one is not adhesive but you can glue it down to a page put a picture in sort of highlight a picture of something that beautiful bronze color almost like a copper in there as well and here's another one. This is a Tim Holtz picture frame. And again, you can do the same thing. Or you can, um, what I've also done with these, put some acetate on the back and a backing and put wildflowers or, you know, my pressed flowers in these and then put them in a journal. They make really nice uh, things like that as well. All right, here's some itty bitties. I'm determined that y'all know exactly what you're getting. So, Okay. This is a little pressed embossed. It's um, Solicitor of the Supreme Court of Bristol, England. It's a, um, what do you call it? A, a heavy duty stamp that my father-in-law had. And he passed away a couple of years ago. And uh, my mother-in-law gave this the stamp thing to me. It's very heavy. And I use these, they're just really neat. Kind of a point of interest. So it has his name on it, Maurice Leonard Sparks, Bristol, England. Solicitor of the Supreme Court. And it's just a piece of cardstock. And I've uh, done a little bit of, uh, ooh, itchy. I've got, I was weeding earlier and uh, managed to get into some trouble. A few of these whale tail tabs in a neutral color that will go with everything. These are little leaf cutouts. Some little bitty. These are great just to write a number or something on it and then hang from a card or a page or whatever. And there's, what, about three of each of those. And then these are just some, um, what do you call these? Labels from, um, 
from digital kits that I have, and I have too many of them. So there's that. What else do we have left? We'll do that last. We'll do this next. What do we have here? I did have fun putting these together. So these are... All of these little glassine envelopes I've tea stained. And in each one is an original piece. This came from a scrapbook from, I want to say 1920, something like that. Uh, so these are original pieces, and they, I think all of them have original. I'll show you if they're not. Uh, here's one a little calling card. Oh, no, I'm an affectionate greeting. And that's from about 1910. I love these. I just, I think they're so cool. This is a, just a really pretty uh, die cut that I have. I have the, you know, again, I've got the die cutting machine. And I make these. And they, they look great in a corner. I don't really use them as pockets because they're too fine. But they make a great um, decoration. So we've got three of the envelopes this way. You know, the, the landscape, I should say. And then three envelopes, glassine envelopes, again, all tea stained, that are like this. It's an antique calling card. Another antique calling card. And these are large, they're coin holder things coin holder things. That makes sense. What I use them for, again, you you stain the, the part here. Now you can use them you, like so. Put some flowers in or even a coin or whatever. But what I do is I take them apart. Stain or uh, stamp a design on the white part. Glue it down to the page with some little what's that? Little, yeah. Like a, well, there you go. See? There you go. A flower or a little picture or something like that. So there are five of those in there. They're great fun. And these are the larger ones. They're um, for do dollar coins, I think. Yeah, I think those are for dollar coins. So that's it in that bag. And that all goes together. And then the final bag. We finally get to the end. I put some lace applique. This is... Uh, bridal this came from a um a wedding dress that was torn to pieces when i purchased it at a thrift shop but it had so many usable pieces on it so and then this sweet little napkin looks to be about maybe 10 by 10 something like that isn't that sweet? So, there you have it. That's what's in each bag. Now, some of it will vary slightly. Again, the pieces of, uh, like the pages from books, that's where it's the big difference is going to be. Um, but anyway, if you're interested, they are for sale. Um, I'll put the uh, link below how you can contact me if you're interested. And we'll go from there. I hope you're having a great day. Um, it's a little cooler actually now September 2nd and uh, hopefully it will start cooling off a little bit more <laughs> we hope take care and may God bless bye bye